Welcome Seekers. You have made it to the Tarot Magician's channel. My name is Ricardo Gallart. And today I bring you another pick a card tarot reading. And we are going to try and answer a very important question. Who is your secret admirer? Who has a crush on you? This can potentially be your future spouse, maybe, potentially. Um, so the process is very simple. Pretty sure you guys are familiar with it. In front of you, there are four groups. Group one, group two, group three, group four. We have four stones here. Take a moment and I want you to pick one of these four groups, whichever one calls to you. I'll give you a moment. The timestamps are going to be in the description so you can fast forward to your group. Okay, group one, your very first unicorn card is possibility. And that is a beautiful, beautiful card to get that for your very first one. You know, the, the message of this card is raise your standards, elevate your expectations. You have unlimited potential. And you know, this winged horse, this magnificent Pegasus encourages you to hold a bigger vision for any situation in life. The card reminds you to catch yourself when you think small about yourself and your life. Um, it's also asking you to trust. Trust much more in the process and be available. Be in the moment. Also, it's telling you that there are much better opportunities out there. There's always wonderful, more exciting opportunities. So, interesting. Um, doesn't really answer the question, who is your secret admirer? But from what I'm seeing here is there's this energy surrounding you, this energy of possibility, this energy of wanting more, this energy of expansion. So let's go ahead and, and throw more cards around this one and get an understanding of who this secret admirer is and you know what they have for you and maybe even when they're going to present themselves to you. Okay, group number one. So the first just card that calls my attention is this page of wands. By the way, there's four tarot decks that I'm using here. One, two, three, four, four decks plus the oracle. And the person that has a crush on you is represented by this page of wands. Very young, energy, exuberant. This might be someone that you notice they've been just extra friendly, maybe a little extra smiley. Um, there's an energy, there's a desire to want to be around you. Uh, there's just this youth, right? This youthful exuberance and kind of child childlike quality about them um you know i wish i had better news about them but they're they're going through a bit of a of a period of being stuck they're stuck right now even though they are this person who's filled with energy and passion and, and moving forward and youthful exuberance there's this energy of being stuck not moving you know you have the the chariot here which is a forward moving energy. That's the energy to take charge, move forward, get things done. This is reversed. Uh, also, we have here the Six of Swords, uh, represented by this uh, Viking group of, of men and women that are about to pretty much go on uh, on a trade and um, on a trade mission. And unfortunately, you know, this card is reversed. So there's not much going on when it comes to communication when it comes to travel when it comes to moving uh into maybe a new reality for this person and you know it, it's cost them a lot of heartache um, we have this four of wands reversed as well so it's cost them for plans that should have materialized not to materialize so a lot of missed opportunities um with this person the secret admirer this page of wands that has this uh this crush on you this uh this love for you now with this unicorn possibility you're essentially being told to fly the possibilities for you are endless i see that you have options so this third group here is represented by page of pentacles and the seven of cups this this is by the way the uh the angel deck it's one of the newest decks that i have this card is your mind right now. There's just so many options uh, that you don't know exactly 
what to pick. I, I see different people, different, um, just different people with different knowledge, different walks of life, and you're intrigued by these people. You're trying to make a choice, and you don't want to make the wrong choice, which is why you want as much clarity as you possibly can. You know, you're, you're, you show up as this uh, page of pentacles energy, so this is representative of you, who you are. Now, it is reversed, so that's the number one indicating that you're looking for the correct advice. You don't want uh, just for for you to fall in love with someone then maybe waste your time waste your resources uh, just waste your energy waste everything that you've worked for on this person give them everything of you and then to find out that they're not of value that you've made the wrong choice so obviously you know you want to make the right choice and you want to know I get this feeling that, you know, there's this person in your in your mind right now that you're thinking of and you want to know if maybe they're the one, you know, if if it serves if it serves you any any good, just just know that, you know, this person if they've communicated to you about their lives, they have a lot of unfinished projects. Um and, you know, they're represented by this page of wands. Now, these two cards here are the advice. Well, these are the advice cards and you have the princes of wands reversed. You also have the king of pentacles upright so the advice is for you to not be so hasty in your decision making so let's compare these two energies so you have this princess of wands who is ready to take on the world she's ready to go out and try everything and anything she's ready for danger this card is reversed so it's telling you to take a take a moment and assess where you are in life it's telling you to be more like this grounded energy of the King of Pentacles. To sit in your throne, take a look around, do what you're doing now, assess everything, ask the right questions, and the universe will reveal its answer to you. Um, but I get this feeling that you might be asking the questions incorrectly. So it's important for you to just write down what it is that you want in someone. Um, if there's any advice here that, that I can give with this King of Pentacles energy is to just write down what you really want. Pros, cons, uh, you know, what, if this person that, that you're thinking of, if they meet a, as much as the other person that you're maybe thinking of. Because I do see that there are multiple people that you are maybe considering uh, approaching or maybe they've approached you. You're trying to come down to a decision. You want to find true love uh, and you, you want to find energy. You want to find fire. You also want to have fun with this person and you want all of the valuable things. So you're being told to tap into this King of Pentacles energy, which is a very practical energy, very grounded, very down to earth. Um, you also have to assess how how much value is this person bringing? Um, so, you know, it's not just about having fun right now. It's about how much value is this person giving? So let's compare these two once again. We have this Princess of Wands and this King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is more of a stoic kind of energy that says, I'm going to put off pleasure now so that I can be successful and have that pleasure in the future. The Princes of Wands energy, especially reversed, says, I want to have fun now. YOLO! So it's this constant energy. It's this Epicurean energy with the Princes of Wands, and then you have a stoic energy with the King of Pentacles. You're being told to put away that Epicurean energy YOLO energy and to be more grounded, more practical, um, uh, just look around and try and find value in people. Um, do you have a job? What's your income? Do you have a car? And I know that this is all superficial things, but it adds up, right? Um, if you get yes, 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 maybe you get a no here and there, but you want to get as many yeses as you possibly can. So when you make a decision, because I see that you have options, make sure that it's a grounded decision that it's forward thinking it's just not to have fun for today or tomorrow or a week or a month from now it's for the rest of my life so step out of this energy move into this one and <clears throat> excuse me guys uh and, and that is the the final two cards here that is the advice um so i hope this reading was helpful please guys subscribe 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 i will be putting out more new content for you guys um, also, give me a like. That helps a lot. And, um, you know, if you can write a comment, please do. I um, mean, you know, I want to hear from you guys. The channel's 
pretty much uh, small enough where I can, you know, read them and, and write back. Uh, so please leave a comment. Thank you guys. Also, if you're interested in your own private readings, I do those. The link is in the description below. So thank you and bye-bye. Okay, group number two, your very first card is Rebirth. Beautiful card, guys. So Rebirth, the, the message of this card is reinvent yourself. Give life to your dreams. Create a new reality. Uh, this winged unicorn essentially is urging you to shed the false identities your ego has trapped you in. So as you can emerge as the true divine you, it's time to release just anything that is not in alignment with your truth and let your old life crumble and fade to make space for what's new and um from what i'm what i'm getting with this with this card is that there's something beautiful coming your way there's a, a new fire coming your way and uh, that could very easily be this secret admirer so let's go ahead and put more cards around this one and see what more you know what, what other things the cards are going to tell us about this person Okay, group number two. So, we are going to be using four tarot decks here uh, for this reading. We have tarot deck number one, number two, number three, and number four. And this first four cards here talks about this person that has a crush on you. Now, what I am getting is that this person is someone who has control of their lives in 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 all its totality they've had a good amount of success um they've they've had their struggles financially they've had their struggles uh just getting motivated to start projects to move forward to expand but they've been able to learn from those defeats and they've been able to put it into this magical energy this magician energy that pretty much takes all of the knowledge all of the skills all of the elements everything and you're able to unite all of those things and create something, create something wonderful for you, for your, yourself, for everyone around you. Now, rebirth, how does this person that has a crush on you, this magician that has a crush on you, how are they going to give you this rebirth that this Pegasus, this unicorn is talking about here? And this is the answer. You have the four of wands. They're going to give you the home that you've wanted. They're, they, they're going to give you the life that you've wanted. Um, this is a life of happiness. This is a life of celebration. This is a life, this is a family life. Uh, someone that's very grounded. Uh, someone who, you know, essentially, they, they want to give you everything. Uh, they want to give you what they didn't have. So, you know, we have this uh, Prince of Pentacles. We have the Six of Wands. These are the challenges that this magician has overcame, overcame and they're going to go ahead and bring all of those difficulties that they've learned from and they're going to add it to you. And it's going to manifest as this rebirth. You're going to feel like this just breath of fresh air, this just excitement, this just you can unload and, and you can count on, on, on this person. You're, you're going to be able to count on them. And I see that you're in, in, in dire need of that. Why do I say that? That's because of this third uh, tarot deck group here. This is you. Now, you are being represented by this King of Pentacles. You can be a man or a woman, but you are being represented by this King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is reversed. So what I'm seeing here is that you are a person that you're very resourceful. You're a person that has had success in, in uh, maybe the private sector. You've had success maybe, um, you know, if you're, if you're still in school. So you've had success in life, but it's weighing on you. It's, it's really weighing on you. It's just a lot of responsibility that has been placed on you. And you're also extremely bored. Um, I see this bored energy here. Um, we have this... Oh, by the way, there's two cards here, interesting enough. <laughs> so you got a bonus card. That's hilarious. So we have this um, Four of Cups energy, which is this just bored energy. You're, you're bored of life. Um, you're bored of just everything that's going on around you. Uh, you're looking for maybe something new. And you essentially once, you know, the King of Pentacles, they're so successful. 
that they get bored very easily. So they, they, they move on from project to project with haste and they don't really want to stop. So, you know, I get the feeling that this is you and, and this boredom has led you to this other energy here, which is this five of cups, which is you've just, you're, you're depleted at this moment. You're just, you might even be going through a bit of a depression, honestly. Um, I think life has truly and utterly um, beaten you down a bit and you feel just even nihilistic where you don't really feel this energy to move out and emotionally you are you're going through some turbulence um, now it will pass this will subside um, there is an advice here the advice is these two cards the advice is for you to have fun so we have six of cups three of cups and it's important for you to understand that when this person comes, this magician, they're going to bring this energy that you've been needing, this light, this uh, family energy, um, love, just joy. I see that you lack joy, you lack happiness, you lack celebration, you lack contentment. Uh, that's These are things that are leading to you're feeling like this woman, you know, just incapable of moving, getting up, uh, doing pretty much anything. Uh, there's just this uh, throwing it all uh, and, and not really looking back, even though, you know, there is something around the corner. So if you, if you can see these cards, these are the angel cards. Um, there's, a, there's a message here. There's always one cup that's being held by the angels. And these little angels are coming and they're trying to show the cup to... The woman, but the woman won't pay attention because she's just so focused with these other cups that she doesn't want, that she doesn't see that miracle right in front of her. So from what I'm seeing here is for you to understand that this person is on their way to you. Um, they're going to let you know that they are interested. You're going to know who these pe this person is. And I get the feeling that they're coming quick because you are at a breaking point with this Four of Cups, Five of Cups, King of Pentacles reversed. You are at a breaking point and you, you need someone. You're calling out for them and the universe is responding. And um, this this magician is coming. And this magician is coming quick. And they're coming with the promise of a, of a home, uh, of, of, of someone who you can count on, someone who you can confide in. Someone that, that's going to be there for you, that truly, truly has your back. Because just a lot of people nowadays, they say they have your back. They really don't. This magician does. And, um, you know, they, they are coming for you. So the other thing that I'm seeing here is not only is it telling you to have fun, but it's telling you to, to create a more fun environment in your home, in your space, even though it's difficult. I I feel that maybe there's some some air of dysfunctionality in your home could be from you know oppressive parents or just uh, oppressive partners whatever it may be uh, there's an air of just uh, lackluster nihilistic uh, mentality and, and just you know very volatile emotions and, and from what I'm getting this will all pass this is just temporary this magician that's coming this crush this partner they're gonna help in a massive way they're going to transform the way you literally view life um, so a big, big positive change is coming for you. And um, with, uh, with the Three of Cups, keep in mind, celebration, okay? Celebrate with your friends, people who you really trust, people who you can confide in. Uh, try and celebrate if, you know, if you have a family member that um, has been there for you, try and celebrate with them. Get yourself in this energy. The reason why is because it's going to help you find it's going to attract this magician even more it's like you're creating the energy and the space and you're creating that uh that flow for them to find you to identify you you're, you're creating the energy around you you're manifesting something and they're going to be able to identify you um and, and know when it's the right time because of course they already care about you they 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 were just perhaps not sure there has been a lot of past pains, hurt. Um, I see with this Six of Wands reverse that they've tried, that they've moved into um, something new, a new project, and it was not successful. 
Um, a part of me, since it's right underneath the Four of Wands, a part of me is telling me that they've already tried this before, this uh, home energy, trying to give it all to someone, and maybe it's backfired, it hasn't worked out as as, as best as it, as it could. Um, and I get the feeling that this person is also in need of joy, um, this magician. They're, they've gone through a bit of struggle, this magician. And that is why the universe is asking you to, to be have fun, to, to have a caring energy, to be in tune, to project joy instead of this depressive state. And, um, and I think it's because this, you're, you're the person that you that has a crush on you, they're looking for that. They're looking for joy. They're looking for happiness. So it's important for you to get into that same mindset as this magician so that your energies can come together. So that is all I see here, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I will be putting out more new content very soon for you guys. Um, give me a thumbs up. That helps. Also, comment down below. The channel's uh, small enough to where I can read the comment, respond back. Please do that. I love hearing from you guys. Um, and also, if you're interested in your own private readings, I do those as well. The link to the website is down below. So thank you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Okay, group number three. Your very first card is Delight. All right. That's a nice card, delight. So, you know, the message of, of this uh, unicorn card is count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things, always expect the best. Um, so this pony, it's encouraging you to glide through life in a slipstream of joy and to approach any situation with a sense of fun and play. Um, this pony, is also reminding you that the universe wants you to be happy and that when you wholeheartedly expect positive outcomes you will receive them this is also a very placeful energy it's telling you to have fun to play with this situation so you know right off the bat I'm kind of getting the sense that um, your crush has this kind of playful energy to them your your uh, secret admirer now let's put more cards around this one and see if we can get an understanding of who this person is okay group number three so we're gonna i'm using four tarot decks here for this reading so we have tarot deck number one number two number three and number four these first two sections talk about the person the secret admirer now, you know, this person is very competitive, okay? They are very competitive. They like to step up to challenges. They like to challenge other people. Um, I get this feeling that there's this energy of, of moving forward. There's this energy of uh, not stopping, but always changing. Um, and changing in a very dynamic way. So we have the, the wheel of the year here, representative of them and that change. Um, they are someone who have, they've matured. Now, one of the areas where they've matured most, where they've stepped into this wheel of the year is in that family environment. Um, I see that there hasn't been a lot of happiness with their family, with them as a whole. There's been this just uh, kind of black cloud over their family as opposed to that rainbow. That's why it's reversed. Um, so they're pretty much They've gone through this period of challenges, uh, also indicative of the Five of Swords, um, but they've been able to handle it. They've been able to handle it like champions. They've learned from it, and they're now moving into this new reality. Now, this new reality that this person is moving into could very well be you, and I actually think it is you, and I'll tell you why now. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk about this third group. This third tarot deck is you. It's representative of who you are. Now, you know, there is some concern here because you're being represented by the lover's energy, but reversed. So you've gone through some heartbreak. Uh, someone has betrayed you. This six, let's look at the Six of Cups here more closely. This is you and the person that betrayed you, and that's why it's reversed. And, you know, they really hurt you emotional way just emotionally and you're someone that's filled with love you know you love very very deeply 
you fall in love extremely, extremely deeply. You give them everything. And this person um, betrayed you, uh, maybe lied to you, wasn't honest with you, and, you know, it's led to this. Um, you you feel a bit loveless. Uh, you, you, you're looking for love. You're looking for someone to love you because you feel like you just are unlovable at this moment and it's a bit of an immature way of looking at things because really what I see here is that it's this person's fault they lied to you they betrayed you so there really is no reason why you should be feeling this way um, and now let's move into the advice and I'm gonna tell you why I feel that what you're feeling is incorrect and obviously you're feeling it because we're all human um, and you're going through this process of healing and that's fine but the advice Look at how beautiful. The advice is the lover's card. <laughs> so, you know, we're using four tarot decks. So the advice here is to love again. The advice is to surrender yourself again to the love of life, to go out and be yourself again, to love like only you can. You're also being, this is also the advice here, the chariot. So you've got the chariot energy telling you to move forward with this lover's energy here as well so they're both telling you to move forward don't stop love and love deeply love like you've never loved before so it ties in beautifully with the very first oracle card that we got delight you're being told to delight in life again you're being told to let go of this past hurt of this lover's energy reversed this person that just did you so much harm made you feel like you just weren't worth much. Um, you know, this person that you maybe shared so much with and now you feel like they've taken a part of you and it's never going to come back. Well, this energy is telling you that it will and it's going to come back tenfold. As you can see here with this lover's card, this is representative by my druid's deck. There's a hind in the background. And the hind is the keeper of mysteries. They only present themselves when there is something truly beautiful about to happen. And for me, there is this blissfulness when I see these cards. And when I look at the chariot, the lovers, the lovers reverse. There's this divine love. There's this healing also. Um, so you, I feel, are a healer. Or at the very least, have the ability to heal and, and be of value to other people with your love. The most powerful energy in the universe, doesn't matter what anyone tells you, this is what I believe to be true. The most powerful energy in the universe is love. And, you know, when you feel loveless, when, when you are, have trouble trusting again and loving again, you're depleting your, your magic. You're depleting your resources, everything. So, in order for you to connect again, with that loving nature, you have to step into this delight, have fun, go out, have fun. And um, that is what I see here, guys. So I hope you like the reading. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I will be putting out uh, more new content for you guys really soon. Um, also, please comment. Uh, you know, I, I read every single one of your comments. The channel's small enough to where I can read the comments and I can write back. Um, also, you know, if you guys uh, are interested in your own private readings, I do those. The link is down below in the description for my website. Um, and also, please give me a like, 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 like. That helps, guys. So thank you once again, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. Okay, group number four. Your very first unicorn card is Balance. All right, so the message of this card is take time to relax. Indulge a little more or less. Set boundaries with your work. So, you know, there's an area of imbalance in your life that needs addressing. That's what this card is saying. Now, to answer the question, this person that has this crush on you, this secret admirer, from what I'm seeing here, this is a person that might be bringing balance to your life. Or maybe there is some balance that needs to be struck in order for this to truly work. Now, it's all, you know, we need more cards to really get a, a clear picture of what 
is being said here. So let's go ahead and put more cards around this one and see who your secret admirer is. Okay, group number four. So we're going to be using four tarot decks here. So we have uh, tarot deck number one, tarot deck number two, tarot deck number three, tarot deck number four. So this first section is just talking about them, them who they are. And they're represented, they're represented by the moon. This is a person who at this moment is going through some shadows. They're going through something in life. They're Right now they're going through this kind of a maze, this darkness. And it's scary for them. Um, there are certain fears and, and insecurities lurking in the back uh, that they're, they don't really want to share. Um, they're really not in a position to talk a lot. Um, from what I'm seeing, you know, they're being also represented by this Princess of Swords reverse. So there's this inability to express what they're thinking, what they want to say. Now they're working on this. They're, they're people that, uh, you know, they want to come out and tell you, right? They want to come out and tell you, hey, look, I really, I feel this way about you. And, but they're just, their mind is attacking them is what I'm seeing here. There's just this meant. There's this illusion that they've created in their minds, and it's maybe this fear um, where they think that you're gonna maybe reject them, or, or something's gonna happen. But they have the, you know, they have this four of swords also reversed, um, which is for me this their 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 mental energy right now is just being drained by some kind of thinking, some kind of negative thinking, pessimism. Now I do see that there are shadows that they are afraid of they just don't want to express themselves because they don't want to go through any of those things they want to keep those shadows in the shadow so um i get the feeling that with that information you might know who this person is maybe someone very reserved at the moment um, that has been looking at you a lot observing maybe they've been writing through social media because i see here you know in the same coin we have the Ace of Swords upright, so it's telling me that they're working towards communicating, or they're trying, or maybe they're sending uh, messages that you can maybe identify as, hmm, there's some interest there, but man, they're just not coming out fully. So, which is why there's this Princess of Swords reverse and this Four of Swords reverse. There's this lack. Immediately, once they get to a certain point, they pull back, because there's this fear. Um, and they just don't want to maybe step into some kind of new reality, because they're a little hesitant due to the shadows that are lurking. Now, this third section here talks about who you are as a person. And I see that you are an extremely valuable person. You are represented by this Ace of Pentacles. So you have a lot of value. You have a lot of worth. What you are bringing to the table is truly, truly great. Uh, and also, you're a person that changes a lot. You don't stay stuck. You, you're constantly moving, learning, expanding. You're, you're the type of person that starts a project, finishes, moves on to the next one. You don't pretty much stay stuck on old uh, thought patterns. You move, you expand, and this is what you want in someone. This is exactly the kind of mentality, right? Someone of value, someone who can add to their skill set get better and this is the energy that you right now are are bringing let's not forget about this uh balance card here it's telling you if you've been overworking too much then it's time to take a rest if you've been resting too much it's time to get a little work done so balance is the main message here now let's go back a bit let's go back to this lover uh, to this uh, secret admirer uh, who has a crush on you, potentially even your future spouse here. Um, I don't see any kind of indication of marriage just yet. I do see that there's a lot of communication that needs to take place before any kind of partnership is discussed with this person. And it is gonna, it is going to be difficult for you to bring it out of them. But if there's anyone that can't, is you. I mean, this this is you. You're, you're represented by the Ace of Pentacles and this death card you are of complete value so if there's anyone is you now is it worth it is this person worth all this energy that you're going to have to give these two cards here are the advice cards and from what I'm seeing they are worth it 
these people are worth it. They're worth you surrendering and finding the value in them. This is this card is represent, representative of you. So this is you. That coin is essentially all of the work and all of the effort that you've put in, but also there's more to it. It's all of the work and all of the effort that you put in manifesting in this new interest, this person. And it's you looking at it very curiously. So it's telling you to entertain this person. It's telling you to um, try and help them go through their process. Bring out those shadows. Because on the other side of those shadows, uh, of that maybe insecurity of, of that coming out, maybe even in just telling you, I, it could. this could just very well be that they're just hesitant to tell you because there's circumstances that are keeping them from that. But if you become more available, more uh, maybe even talkative, or if you can add a little more to this interaction, this, this blockage of communication that's taking place, um, it will be beneficial for you. And of course then, because they're going to acquire you. I mean, come on, you are a champion of champions from what I'm seeing here. Um, also with this hanged man reversed, I get this feeling haste. I get this feeling of let's not wait around let's uh let's get to work right let's not wait around let's get to work so i get this feeling that it's time to find value it's time to uh to to reach out in haste it's time to maybe even match their energy just a little bit i i feel that they're they're wanting to express themselves maybe they're expressing themselves in the way that they shouldn't it's coming out in, in, in the wrong kind of light and um this is because of this mental uh, anguish is mental um, and I'm not trying to find a word for this but I'm having trouble here but there's just this inability to to say something to express themselves and it's really just uh, messing with their minds really that's what I see with this four of swords and um, they need a little help they need just a little push perhaps I get the feeling with this princess of swords reversed they have an idea of you that's been constructed. Yes, now it makes sense. So there's there's an idea of you that has been constructed. It could be that someone has been speaking negatively behind your back because you're represented. You're being represented by this Princess of Pentacles. Obviously, you're here, the Ace of Pentacles. So this is you. So who is this other woman here? This Princess of Swords that's giving bad advice. So I think that there is someone who is uh, muddying the waters just a little bit. And maybe they're portraying or, or showing an image of you that's not right. But see, here's the thing. This person really likes you. So now this card just brings it all together. It is up to you to balance it out. So this negative talking that's taking place behind your back, you need to dispel this. So you need to come to this person. I get the feeling that you already know who they are. And you need to show them a different side. So whatever, uh, whatever is being said, which is obviously negative, you need to show a different side of you. You need to show that there's value in you. You need to show that you are the type of person that has skills. You're the type of person that can just make people happy. You're, you're the type of person that can provide for yourself. And um, you're a leader. And it's important for them to see that because there's been some negative talking. Now it makes sense. I was trying to tie it in together and, and now it makes sense. I was trying to tie in the Oracle with the representation of who this person is and, and, and you know the energy surrounding them. But their mind right now is in flux because there's negative talking going on about them. And it's this woman who's talking very badly. So you have no clue. Uh, so they have no clue. You know, they, there's just this very bad talking you might be might have received um or you might actually have been told some negative things which might be why you're here uh finding out you know who has a crush on you that so there's some advice that's coming from from this young woman that's just not very good so look out for that and um all i see here what you're being asked to do is show more of you show more of who you are uh, show them, show them this Princess of Pentacles. Show them this beautiful side of you, this valuable side, because you do have a lot of value. You are a very beautiful person, so it's important for you to demonstrate that, and do it with haste. So everyone, that is what I see here, seekers. Uh, please subscribe, 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 guys. I will be putting out more new content for you very soon. 
Um, you know, also if you like the reading, give me a thumbs up and please comment. I will be pretty much, you know, the channel's not uh, that big at the moment. So if you guys comment, I'll be able to read it. Uh, maybe even respond back. Uh, more than likely, I will be responding back because there's just so few. Um, but I would like to hear your feedback. Uh, just let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> you know, if there's something that you'd like to see maybe different, whatever it is, whatever helps, um, I would really appreciate that, guys. So thank you once again. Bye-bye. Hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Oh,